the concert. She's been looking forward to this concert for four months. They had backstage passes to both Thugs and Harmony. And so I was going to be the driver. I kind of backed out of it. I was like, I, I can't go spend the night up there. My husband will kill me. So, but she was, they were still going. That girl is supposed to be coming, the one she's supposed to be going to the concert with. Because that was my first thing. I was like, I need this girl that she's supposed to go to the uh, concert with, you know? And um, that girl finally contacted me. She's like, uh, she says, well, what, why are they, the media was saying that she was acting irrational. What does okay. that, what does that mean? That's, I don't know what they mean by that. She's been a little upset and like she's, she said her messages, we've seen messages of just being freaked out from certain guys. Just in, I don't know, ex-boyfriends, things like that. Um, she had started taking blood pressure medication, new blood pressure medication. And she, the night, like two nights prior, she was like, my heart just hurts, it feels funny, I don't like it. And, um, but she took the medicine, said she was feeling better, she was still planning on going to the concert. That medicine is still sitting on her dresser. It's a daily thing. Like she would have needed to take it again. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, so that means she if she left the house, she probably would have. She was back. planning on coming back. She was going to that concert. By one o'clock, when the girl called her to go to the concert, um, no answer. It was just went straight to voicemail. There's something that happened between. So the phone wasn't on. It went right to right. voicemail. Right, and, and that's just she. She would have responded. She for sure, 100% would have responded. And, but the detectives, they said they do have leads on that. They finally got into messenger. Um, and uh, hopefully today or you know, something. That's like you would think if they got in, they would at least be able to ping or something. Or, or, or that no location. To see who picked her up? You know, who picked her up that morning? If she got picked up. Or, yeah, yeah. She was talking to somebody. She had to get picked up. I, I think. I, I don't know. The roommate I'm was telling us outside that she. The was, neighbor said that she was picked up. But he also didn't, I'm not sure what to believe with him. It's not facts. He couldn't give me any camera footage of her. He said, I seen her. He said, I seen her getting a white sedan, creamy color sedan. Because I look over, I'm like, dude, there's like four white cars over here. Are you, you know, like, can you give me a better description? And he's like, it's a, it was a cream color. It was a four door. And it was a, a crew cut hair guy. So it was a male. Mm -hmm. Crew cut hair guy. And right now, no, no. That, that is hearsay. It's hearsay, yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. But, it's like I have the no. The only thing that pulls that from not being hearsay was that the guy said he, she had a plastic bag. Plastic bag. She had yeah, but he could have been thinking about it from another day. No, no, no. I'm just saying, you know, it, it does tie in a little bit, but that plastic bag is not there. So. Oh, I know she has that plastic bag. She uses that bag. And no, no wallet or keys. The wallet's in that bag. The wallet. I checked her room for her wallet. Her wallet is in the bag that's with her and her phone. Do you know, she has that bag with her wallet. I, I know her bags. She always has certain bags, and she has like her gym bag that she uses, and her stay over there because she's. And we've been best friends a long time, so. You think did they go bags. in the house and do forensics or anything like like you know like a surgery? They, they I, came in there. They, they did forensics. They did enough in our room where it's, they it's enough. It, it's enough to say that they did they did what they supposed to do. Right? Yeah, there was no struggle. She left willingly somewhere or walked out the door. Went walk. She'll walk up to Walgreens right there. Um, she walks a lot. I, I, I saw have Burger King around there too, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and she'll walk to the gym sometimes. I'll have to, I'm like, no, I'll come pick you up. She's like, no, I want to walk. And she just likes her exercise. So you think you think there should be a, a search around the house maybe? Like We've been the, doing the search around the house. Is there, yeah. is there swamps I've back got, there? What's back there? Uh, there's there's like two big ponds back there. There's some people's property. We went and spoke with the people. They let us go walk back there. Uh, there's two big ponds. Someone needs to call cool today. Any any lead that I've got, I've chased down. I had a medium call me and tell me that she's in Ward Lake, and I Googled it, and it was 13 minutes from where I was. It was over in Jigs Landing. I'd never even heard of it before, but we went there. It's a ginormous lake. We went all around it, and as much as we could. It's private property. So, um, I mean, it's huge. I don't have... We can't just get diving dogs or whatever, you know, on a on a, a medium's opinion. I don't know. They, and, and you've been working around the clock since this happened, trying to figure yeah, out what happened to your best friend. Yeah. Best. How'd you guys meet? Uh, we were bartenders together. I used to the bar owner. He's like, I'm, I'm hiring this girl. Uh, she doesn't talk much, but you're gonna love her. You guys will probably get along good. And um, well, we talked. We just got along from the very get go. And I picked her up all the time to take her to work. Not only work together, they were roommates together. Yeah, family. We lived together for a while. Our kids are very close. It's, 
Did she say anything about any kind of strange occurrences? That yeah, lately there's been some weird people. I've got messages um, like that she wrote. So she had just sent me another one that she had sent her about. Um, you you want to tell them what they what she sent you? Show yeah, them. I'd like to. Cause what yes. weird she events told, I, have been going on in her life she, here recently? She had messaged me um, probably a month or two ago about a guy was sending text messages of pictures of her house and really kind of, yes from her driveway, um, stalking her. They've also had to kick somebody out of the bar that continued to circle the parking lot and drove the parking lot. I don't know who that man was. Um, somebody had came back to the house after a bar that made her feel uncomfortable at one point. She's been followed home before. Um, we so, both have. so she had some fear of not feeling safe and wanted to get the ring doorbell. So I have conversations of her saying she doesn't feel safe and has stalkers. So that is something that needs to be looked into. So you know a name at all? Like and no in, names any. at all. Um, I don't know who went back to the house with her after that, who that person was, or if it's the same person or several different people. Um, I know the gentleman who was at the bar they had to kick out is different from the other person. So she had a few people that didn't make her feel safe. Right. I know that so anybody that's been at that house has been in contact right, with absolutely. me. Right, absolutely. I live there. I come, I have to come to that side of the house to use the bathroom. Right. right. And it's not uncommon to see them up after work till 6 o'clock in the morning till I leave. But yeah. if there was somebody absolutely. that was uncomfortable there, she would have came to me. Absolutely. She has a lot and of friends, she, though. It, and that's why she felt know. safe. So Also, I you're, I'm, so honestly, you're kind of intimidating look. I don't see how <laughs> well, a dude right. could come here and want to come <laughs> to the house. And, that's yeah. what I mean, and do anything. Yeah. You know what I mean? I mean like, I wouldn't want to do it. My just, sisters. I mean, it's my group of people. Yeah. I don't I don't have family down here. The only family I have down here is my two-year-old daughter. And when things went wrong with the baby mama, me and Stephanie allowed me to come and build a wall for her for a gym. And, you know, she was like, stay there until, you know, it covers the cost of it. And it ended up me being permanent. And we go through things. She goes through things with her boyfriend. And we sit there for hours just talking. That's my step. We go into a crowded bar as big as this. If I walked in that door down there and she's sitting over there, out of nowhere, you'll just hear her yell, Timothy! Yeah. And then we the whole bar goes Stephanie. quiet. Yeah. And this my is going to be. My son started that. He started calling her my Stephanie. And from then on, yeah, just yeah, her, everybody you know, my Stephanie, my Stephanie. Good heart. Yeah. And, and everybody this in this town like knows her. that. Like, I walk during bingo. Wrong. People are like, use bingo voices, please. But if she yelled my name across the bar, and I yelled back, Stephanie, everybody would stop what they're doing, and all of a sudden you hear them all repeat, Stephanie, Stephanie, Stephanie. Do you think that guy, so that like, guy that got kicked out of here might be on the barred list? I don't know. Okay. You know, that I mean, would be yeah, they're really looking into Yeah, this. I just yeah. I've I sent them all the information, yeah. so they're looking into, I've know, sent them all, all the information. And, and it seems like they're responding back to you and kind of like open immediately. All the information that you guys are getting right now has already been written down, chased down, either she went and looked at video cameras where somebody said, she was, I've or the police have chased it down. That's yeah. why. That's what we say. She Everything. She want like a soda, or bottle, water, or anything. She would show up for work. Water she here. Always. Thank you. I mean, in a little always, bit. She probably wants something. She would show up. She always had a phone um, in her hand, whether she would answer it or not. But she would respond by now, especially. So this is not normal, and something is wrong. Okay, so if she was going to leave the house, she would get in contact with me if she was not going to be there, because we have her son's dog there. Yeah, her son. Her, her medication. Her medications there, all of her medications, anything in the indicates that she might have went to the, spent the night somewhere. There's none of that. She exactly. No, as, a, as an animal, you know like I said, as an animal yeah, owner, yeah, you don't want to leave your animal plan. alone. Yeah, she bought that's a dress to go to the concert. She, she invited me. She was yeah. excited. Was she was going. Um, you know, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Who wouldn't want to? Do she that? got a dress. She got a she ticket. Yeah. Like this is she, something. Her friends invited her, and I always go. So she asked me if I was going, but I was leaving out. This is nothing like. She told me she bought a new dress. She's excited about her wanting to run away or something. No, absolutely not. Disappear from everyone because of. She was in a depression and stuff. We've all talked about that. Let me just yeah, freaking unplug from so life for a minute and then come back to her. She no. reached out as she did. It's not that she needed help. She was in a good she mental was, state yeah. and wanting to go to this and excited yeah. about it. Do you think that the neighbors may have... Cause, I've asked all the neighbors. I've gone we've to gone everyone. We've checked all the cameras. cameras. Cameras were facing down. Couldn't. I have not been able to get anything with that. I'm, as far as I know, the detective hasn't 
Do they know about this, this, these strange the people coming around the house? Thing? I've told them everything that I can. I've told them every all and they're every still one getting of us information. Have, and people know, are calling. There's like problem is we have a, a apartment complex at one end of the street that there's you there's know a lot of there's people. a lot of stuff that goes on over there. Then we have another house that's at the other end of the street across from the pawn shop where a lot of stuff has happened since one of our other friends. Just, just like get away from us, you know. There's a guy down the street that's had a problem with me since I moved in because my motorcycle's too loud, and we go back and forth, back and forth. But it's neighborly. And no, 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 no. This was bad. He called the cops on me a few times, but he recently, a couple of days ago, said he's like, everybody in the neighborhood that knows you knows you're a good guy. He's like, let's squash this. Let's stop that. I just asked you, if you're coming by my house, tone it down a little bit, you know. And I had a respect to that, but he ha he looks out. There's an old guy that sits out there all the time, all day. That you know, he he has his little dog who sits in his. Um, what do they call them? The, the, the walking chairs that you can sit on? He sits out there in the morning time. Then my neighbor Steve, he, he feeds the dog The dog sometimes when we're not there. He'll, he'll sneak in the treats, you know. Everybody's very, right in our area, is on top of things. Just yeah. because of the incidents down the street, and then we've got the apartment complex down there. Yeah. We're family. I mean, I got a two year old. I, I feel safe with my two year old being there. You know what I mean? I took him not so much now. Look behind the house, and the neighbors, the neighbors back there, they, they, we had to know that fence. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I went by my friend's house, he also knows her. Um, I went through his yard and we went, we have to jump the fence to get back to this pond. Go ahead, go ahead. But like, we get over the fence, there's park wire oh, and everything. And um, the guys come walking up, and he's like, you know, we could have let you in through the front. And I was like, I'm sorry, we're looking for my friend. And he's like, I know what you're doing. He says, um, there's been more than just us back there. A lot of people, gotcha. the whole town, there's been a lot of people trying to help out, but still no answers. Did you see, like, any homeless camps back there? Oh, yeah, there was all kinds so, of stuff. Back in there, no. But I know around that area, and a lot of people have told me to go search. And I guess some people did go talk to some of the homeless people. And... The Everybody's places like, oh, that they were at, that's not some place she would walk. Right. She would walk literally from my house or her house, our house, from there to Mulligan's maybe. Or she would walk down to Walgreens. Or she's she would to walk down before. to her gym. Mm -hmm. Or she would walk down to another, uh, you know, high, the highway bar. Mm -hmm. that, that's that's her, you know, little meeting or an eco rose. She has walked away from her um, boyfriend's house at the time all the way across. She walks. But she's very capable of getting a ride. And do I feel like she walked that day? No. I feel like she was picked up. I feel like she was picked up. I feel like maybe I that think the cops will have some today. Too. I think you you would think that. Her phone. Yeah, the and phone, not only that, but when they, they get a today. warrant and get her pings and. and they already have they that. Are, yeah. they, could, they could not pick up the They laptop. said they had that? The phone, her phone was in someone else's name. So that was where the detective was kind of having a problem, I think, getting getting information as quickly as we were hoping for. But they, we were able to get into her messenger because um, when she had lost her phone like a month ago, a mutual friend of ours had um, had her login information when he helped her get her phone. He's like, I think I still have it. It turned out he did. And we were able to get that to That's the detective good. and get into her messenger. So. And it's not no special like I think they'll we all have it. Did, did you phone. go in her messenger too? Did you see anything? I, uh, I had, the last I messaged with her was on the Thursday before when I was supposed to pick her up for the gym in the morning, and she was having the heart problems. She was like, "My heart hurts, and I'm taking this new medicine." But then she said she was feeling better, and. Um, I had to go to work. I went to work that night, and it was her roommate that she's like, "Man, I'm really worried about stuff." She didn't. She hasn't been home. She's not home. And I'm like, "Well, with the concert thing, I'm thinking maybe she's up there in the concert still." And then yeah. the whole thing about her not letting us know to concert. walk the dog, feed the dog, let it's the dog this. in, any of that kind of stuff. I know he's an asshole because he runs from you. He doesn't want to come in half the time. He's a, he's a male dog. So she would always let one of us know, and nobody knew anything. And we, she pays rent through Zelle, and usually the landlord will know. Um, do you have the full amount? You know, blah, 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 blah. No contact with the landlord, which is completely off. And that's really when we got worried, you know. No contact about the dog, and no contact about rent, especially to other people that pay rent the house. Can you tell me something? Um special about Stephanie. Everything's special. She's, Stephanie. That's our Stephanie. That is special. She, she is knows special. everybody. She's friendly and trusts everybody. Um, everybody has can. a view of a person. You have a view of me now just talking to me, but your view of what he just now viewed of me is different. Mm -hmm. What you view of yourself is different. Mm -hmm. Stephanie, most of everybody's view of Stephanie is the same. She is that doe-eyed, sweet, 
Iowa girl, and I guess she'll f you up in a second. But she's very, she's very, she's a she's a very loving person. There's no getting around. Fun person. That's nice. She's got me in more trouble than I can count. Trouble is in being going out and meeting you guys way out at like the sun freaking whatever it was. Sun and fun. Sun and fun, and and going and doing adventures. Yeah. You know, it was always about an adventure. It was always about having fun and. You know, that's Stephanie. That's, she's special. There is no other one. There is. That's my Stephanie. Everybody's Stephanie. You know what I mean? In a way. In their way. You have a message for the public? Um, if you have any information, please let us know. Like, I think people might be scared if there was something like this. She did have a problem with her heart and something happened. But somebody knows something. And that's why we offered the money reward. And actually, the reward went up to $11,000 because Papa Joe owner, he threw in 1000 on it, too. So we're up to $11,000 for a reward to bring her home. I mean, either way, I hope it's not a problem with her heart. I just keep feeling that, like, because I know she would have been having an issue about her heart. about the heart. So she was having blood pressure issues. Okay. And, and, and she, she has she other health issues. Yeah. She has other health she issues. It's not just that. Uh, you know, switching to medication, her missing and all that kind of stuff. I mean, if there's anything to get out to probably, if somebody knows something. This is, this is somebody's mother. This is somebody's sister. This is somebody's best friend. This is everybody's Stephanie. This is, you know, not, it's, it's not just a small group of people. You know, it's, it's, she's got a mom. She's got a dad. She's got, you know, she's a person. This is the small town of Bradenton. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 it's a missing 38-year-old from Bradenton. I always Somebody. told her, like, man, you got to watch out for this town. There's bad people in this town. I know personally. I've lived here my whole life, and I, I know there's some bad people. And, and, and I'm a fighter. She's is, not a fighter. She's so sweet and just innocent. With our town being so innocent. small, it's also so big mm -hmm. for people that are not in There's our crowd. Yeah. Like these well, people that are now moving and are in the higher echelon as far as pay grades and all that, they don't come to these little dive bars, you know. Some so they, of them do. No, I'm just saying, surprised. you know, the majority, but the majority of the heart of Brayton, you know her. You know what I mean? And somebody has to know her. Has to assume something. Just a little bit. Even if the neighbor across the street had seen something, to somebody at the corner now knowing that maybe this wouldn't be what she left in. Oh, I did see that vehicle. You know what I mean? Somebody knows something. Yeah. It's just there's so many people telling us that they know things. They just say, oh, it's I saw obvious. this. I had some videos sent to me. They, I saw her on the corner at 41 dancing in her underwear. Uh, somebody like, told you that. Somebody told me that. I said, oh, send yeah. me the video. They sent me the video. I'm like, that's so not her. What is wrong with you people? Like, yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, yeah, yeah, yeah. the more yeah. it, this conspiracy out, theorists the, come out. Yeah. I've had mediums call me and they told me that she's, they said, you have 24 hours to find her, that she is being bad. She's bound and gagged. And that she's, that her heart is going to give. It hasn't given yet, but it's going to give. And like, yeah, it's just, the, the information that, 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 that you get and it keeps coming and flooding and everything else, you can't, we're not trained in that. We don't, the only thing I can think of is what's factual? Can you show me a video? Can you show me a picture? Of just, can you physically go there and tell the police officers that you seen her at this location? You personally saw her. Nobody. I'm investigating you know, one so. guy because just of a comment he made to a, another bartender. Um, that one, the one from the video. That one, yeah, they sent that, me the video, and he had like that. I would hold off on and let let the detective look at that before we bring that one out. But that I don't think has to do with where where she went. It's just may like, have, the idea of how people talk. The way it people may have talk, been like, oh. somebody that has done something to somebody else in the past. That's up to the detective to determine, but as yeah. far as the way I feel... And you would think the detectives at this point stay six, right? Six days now? Seven days? Seven. seven. No, well, to seven. me it is, because she was supposed to... It's Friday, right? Is no. it Friday? No, we've lost our days again. You would think that they would interview these people by now to try to get something. Yeah, I mean, they have... Rule inter people out. And everybody that I have sent to them, I know he's contacted. He has been on top of things, contacting people, but... Yeah. And that detective is who? Um, oh, Detective Fox. So, Fox. so if anyone has any information yeah, or anything Detective like that, Nate Fox. Yeah, Nate Fox. And that's why uh, I said we didn't want to. Extension twenty five thirteen at the Manatee County uh, Sheriff's Department. So we don't want to spread too much out there because mm -hmm. it is hearsay. We do have something they like she just said, like that. but that that is something that he can use later on after he solves what's going on right now. Mm -hmm. 
if it's if he can't find a connection with 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 what yeah happened. and it's not fair to throw names out there with right. exactly but, no. but i, I mean the, the thing is, is there's video so there must be some kind some of an audio so that has something that doesn't have to do with i think the situation and i'm not the detective but he gets that information he can decide whether it's not and whether or not to go after that information for something else that we don't know about can you give so, me an idea, um, without you know disclosing the person's name or anything, what type of message was it? Can you give me? He had, a, he had said something to a DJ karaoke that creeped her out bad enough that she went back in that video, and he said uh, something along the lines of, "Don't make me, don't don't be the next missing one on a video, or you're going to be the next one on a missing poster too." That something was, like in the, which see. sounded like like he was referring to her. Now maybe she because she knows her too. Maybe she was just. You know, took it wrong, but I'm like the way he said it, the things he said. She went back and got the video of him, and, and oh, yeah, it's been turned into the detective. Good. And, it's just, and hopefully they why, do their due diligence and look into yeah. that, or at least question yeah. the individual. I have, I have, I all the information the that we gave them and everything that's, that, that could be well. videoed, anything yeah. that's, that that we have a text of that we've sent him. I believe that those are the things that he's going after. The hearsay of like, oh yeah, I think she was over here. Do you think? Do you know? Do you know what I mean? We've already pulled the videotapes, you know what I mean? Not only did the detectives go look at the videotapes, but her friends that have seen this going on that work in the bars or own the bars have looked at their own footage and looked at other bars that they own besides the one in question just to see if there's anything there. So it's it's a lot of information going out there, and I believe that... I thought you guys were the judge that I was talking to you, but I just seen a call, so I'm like, oh, yeah. that's... Probably another that's one. Not you. That's another one, yeah. But, and and your, your name is Justin, right? No, it's not. Oh, it's it's Tim Timothy Park. Timothy, Timothy, sorry. Timothy, yep, I wanted Timothy. to make... I, I'm just putting that so I remember to call you the right name I'm doing. <laughs> so do you, are you going to do any searches um, in, you know, in the next that's, couple of days? Uh, do you want to do some searches? The plan right now for me was I was coming to meet her to get together and maybe do a search. And then after I got the information from I'll help you the detective this morning, um, I you know, people said canines, this and that. They have all that. They can use a canine. If they needed a canine, they would use a canine. And he said, if she left in a car, what's a canine going to do? Yeah. Does anybody have a location? So from him saying that, you know, he has got very good leads and there's people out there if she said it was five detectives then maybe that's what is out there what they're going to talk to people they have more what, leads what by can we do right this minute that messenger, so is wait for information on them today something else comes but i you want to go somewhere today let's go. Look. yeah let's do it yeah. where where um, would we um, look to um, have you know i wanted to go out to rye bridge just because some weirdo said go? he's like you're gonna find her body on an embankment on out on rye you want to go look i will yeah, All right, let's, let's go look. Yeah. I'll yeah. follow you, and oh, we'll, we'll, we'll let you do an interview, and then uh, we'll yeah. go. Yeah, we definitely. There's all kinds of people. They're like, "Where do we meet? What do you want to do?" Yeah. So, yeah, I'm definitely we do, down. We, we go out there, we search. We okay. Do. If you want to look I around your area, around your home, behind her house, I went back there, but I mean, it's really kind of, it's very grown. And you um, want to do a second look? I mean, you're, we're all. I will go. I will go and do whatever. So you want to go there first, and then go to where you said you want to go? Yeah, I had some things on my phone. I wanted to call down to. Um, uh, raise canoes and ask them because I know they have people out on canoes all the time to keep an eye out for anything suspicious a big bag or you know what I mean you know and just, just you anything, trying anything. to find yeah. your best friend yeah. is just <laughs> so yeah. you have a heart and you care I love her. we all love her yeah I can't think you know, that's of your own else. friend. And that's what anyone's friend should do for another yeah. friend in a bad situation. So. so you're doing a you're yeah. doing a fantastic yeah. job under the circumstances. Thank God you. bless you. I I just don't want to get underneath the toes of the investigation. Yeah. Um, at first, I didn't have the information that they had these good leads, and her mom even influenced that Gina influenced that they have some leads. So, yeah. you know, I don't want to. If we're going to search somewhere, then I would love to have a law enforcement with us because if we do find something or if there's something that we find that doesn't have nothing to do with her, I don't want to disturb anything or right. enter an investigation. There's no reason on. why we can't keep looking. I, I mean, don't see any we, we can look, but, you know, it's it's one yeah. of them things. It's, you we, know, there should can. be somebody. Yeah. We do true crime, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm just yeah. saying, I mean, I don't want to. My, my worst fear is that something that I've done will keep from whatever happening being prosecuted or going through or any of that kind of mm, stuff you know yeah, i don't want i don't want to mess up anything no. because i'm not trained now i mean we've all watched 48 hours and csi and all that stuff and 90 percent of that 
this hocus pocus, here we go, this is the person, you know, to me. So I don't want to mess up anything that they've got going on. Absolutely. We understand. So, I mean, yes, would, would, it, would, it be a good idea, would it be a good idea to go ahead and look along the, race, the, the, the railroad tracks and stuff like that? There's been people it's been down done there, at about 10 miles it. down those tracks. Do you know what I'm saying? There, there's people that's actually looked. Uh, she jumped over a fence to go. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's it. We've looked in the close areas. It's it's where where are we where where do we concentrate to search? She left in the vehicle. Well, now her walking area is out of the picture at this point because if she walked anywhere, we would know. We would. The bars would know. The the gym would know. The the, the little stores all the way that she walks past. Would be able to be able to pull some footage from. Yeah. There's nothing there right now. So I mean, where do we look? I don't know. I mean, she had a Sarasota crowd. Is this a friend that maybe came from the Sarasota crowd? I've asked them for Sarasota. See, I mean, we just we just don't know. So I mean, what are we going to do? Split up into five different people, groups of two, and go to these places? We, we don't know. You know, so we get something back from him. I, I don't know where to start, you know, except for doing stuff like this, getting the word out, you know, schedule a time, you know, it's like... They, there was people who called mediums, which I think is kind of crazy. I was like, I don't believe in that really, but I mean, I'm willing to, if you tell me that she's over here, and the lady said she's in way... River, or we went there. It was 13 minutes away. And it's huge. I mean, we need boats and all that, but the, 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 they get that together on a, a, a medium so much, you know. But and then the guy saying, you know, I feel, you know, I got a sixth sense a and this and that. He's, he's an old guy, you know. Up from where I'm from, if you if you hang out in these bars <laughs> sometimes, you'll know, hear old guys talk. Ah, you keep talking to me that way, you're gonna end up on the east bank of Rye. Yeah. Okay, well, the guy I'm, said I'm that. Hand the guy did say that. Today, you know. Every single business I can, every single I'll help you with that if you want to. Because everybody goes to gas stations. You know, her face How many flyers there. do you have there? Um, I, we had like 400, and I think we're. I still got. You just gave a bag up to the front. Yeah, so. I still got that many. And when you're stuck from place to place to place, you know, I have more coming, though. Budweiser chipped in and got us 200 yesterday. I'll help you. That's awesome. That's and we have other people that make copies of fires that have been posted yeah. out too. I, have well. I think she right has now. some too. Yeah. Yeah. I have a friend wanting more flyers. People yeah. are my phone is just. And that's important to get the message out and get the, her, your image yeah. out there in the community yes, on definitely. all these businesses yeah. because you know everyone in the community goes to some business yeah, and they see her stores. and they might Google CBS, around her yeah, and, and figure out you know if they knew something, yeah. seen something. Yeah. Somebody knows something. Somebody knows something. something. You have to. Yeah. And somebody is scared to tell. That's why I also wanted to stress that eleven thousand dollar reward. Like we're up to eleven thousand. Because sometimes, I mean, why would they talk unless maybe? Now the reward was that businesses. That you said one thousand well, came me. from I started, here. I said I have a thousand dollars. I could put up a. a I'll give a thousand dollars for any information that leads to finding her. Not just these tips that everybody's giving. Her. Something that leads to finding her. And then another friend that was there. He's like, I'll put in a thousand. Another friend said, I'll put in a thousand. We got up to five thousand. So that night. Three. I put it up, five thousand dollar reward, and within by the time I woke up in the morning, five thousand more had been added, and now um, one more thousand with the owner here. So, I mean, everybody. Sorry, eleven thousand. Yeah, she's very loved. We all love our Stephanie, and we're gonna do this. I'm doing what I can to find her. Everybody's trying. So, we're gonna find her. We have to. I think today's the day. Today's the day. We're gonna find her. Give me a hug again. I'm sorry. Lots of flyers. Flyers for Stephanie. We're gonna friends and family of Stephanie are going to distribute that. Distribute these flyers throughout the community and all the businesses.